Hi, it's Up Tom Tom from Eye Care Eyewear, bringing you an evidence-based perspective to behavioural vision care. Today I'd like to talk about all those people who have problems with headaches and sore eyes, or we describe it as asthenopic symptoms, specifically related to a problem called convergence insufficiency. Convergence insufficiency is a binocular vision problem, or a problem with the eyes not working together properly, effectively having problems with converging. Now, some of the symptoms that you might um, have if you have problems with convergence insufficiency is double vision, uh, loss of place when reading, and in particular note for parents, it, you can have problems with the academic performance as well. So things like um, difficulty with completing assignments, um, careless mistakes, and even avoidance of near work, inattentiveness, and worrying about your school performance. Now there's a number of ways that optometrists test for convergence insufficiency and generally we'll do a, a series of tests and when we get a, a combination of these uh, yielding the result of convergence insufficiency that's when the diagnosis is made. So the first thing I would do is what we call near point of convergence. So for this test here I would wave this uh, special wolf wand in front of people and I bring it closer to their nose and we're watching the eyes to see when, when they converge and when they break apart. Another test we might do is called a dissociated fluoro test where we put a lens, which is a prism, in front of the eyes and it splits and makes things double. You can see two of things with them. And while we're all the time asking them to look towards one of these cards and we can work out um, where the eyes are sitting when they're not working together. Are they sitting in or out? And obviously with convergence insufficiency, the eyes are more likely to sit out. We also might do a test using a prism bar. So for this particular uh, stress test, we're effectively increasing the prism demand on one of the eyes you can see it's the position I'm changing and getting further and further to the side. And what that would be doing to one eye is increasing the amount of turn that the eye has to make, or conversely, the amount of turn the eye has to turn out. Now, unfortunately, convergence insufficiency is not an uncommon problem. With a recent study a screening for children for convergence insufficiency, finding that one in five children had at least two signs of this problem. And they also found that for children that were symptomatic of convergence insufficiency, 61% of these children had problems with their focusing system, which could potentially be addressed with glasses. Now fortunately, convergence insufficiency uh, can be con con appropriately treated and managed by optometrists, who carefully assess visual efficiency and offer in-office vision therapy. So if you have any other questions about convergence insufficiency or how it's managed, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Additionally, I have a YouTube channel of which you're welcome to subscribe where I attempt to answer lots of questions just like with this one today. Thanks.